In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this stage card using the Birds and Branches bundle. Here's the card right here. It's called a stage card because it opens up. So you pull these two sides and it opens up to reveal a stage. So whenever I make a card that moves or a box or any other card that has some mechanics to it, I always start with a template. So this is my template. So you're going to start with four um, pieces of four and a quarter by five and a half. And the first piece is uh, this one. I'm just gonna start taking this apart. And this piece, you are going to cut uh, any size or design die out of it. So for this one, I use the stitch nested labels to cut out a design. And um, I've got some designers uh, series paper here. I used the Forever Greenery. And um, I also did it on the front here. So I did the stitched nested labels. You can see that right there. So this is my front piece right here. And then, um, so that's your first piece. And then you're going to have um, two side pieces that are gonna be pulls. And then you're gonna have your back piece. Now these two side pieces, you're gonna start by trimming them down just a tiny bit on the sides. So you can um, just trim them down to like three and um, 15 sixteenths. Wow, these are really long. Oh, no, 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 I am wrong. Um, it needs to be a little less than um, four and a quarter. I apologize. So I'm just going to shave off a tiny bit. Um, this is gonna make it easier for um, it to slide through our little guides and, and you'll see that at the end. You just want it to be a little bit smaller. Okay, so now um, we are going to do a little bit of scoring. So I am going to get my trimmer, handy dandy Stampin' Trimmer. And looks like that kind of bubbled up. So it's finally time. I, I try to keep this on as long as possible, but now it doesn't look good. So you can um, peel this plastic up. I just keep it on as long as I can to protect it. But um, now it doesn't look good. So I am just going to peel the plastic off. And usually it comes off pretty easily, but I don't know why it's... There we go. So you can just peel that right off. And it comes off the ruler and this side too. Okay, so I am going to take those two side pieces that I just trimmed those two side pieces and I am going to score them. So you're gonna use your um, light gray scoring piece right here. And I'm going to trim them at one and two and three quarter, I'm um, not trim, score. Score them at one, so one, and two and three quarters, so two, Okay, so both of them. So one and two and three quarters. Okay, now we are going to make some slits, but we need to do uh, a little bit of measuring. So I'm going to put this aside for now and I'm going to show you the birds and branches bundle so I can set that aside too. This is the bundle. So it's got these lovely birds and this nest and these are the dies that go with it. This is my favorite one. It's this lovely circle with these branches. 
it's very, very pretty. And uh, this branch too, and the side, it's all very pretty. I love it. So this is in the new catalog. And I'm gonna set this paper aside too, because we're gonna use that to decorate later. Set my template aside. So we've got these two pieces right here. Put that with the template. This is the front piece and the back piece. And these are all my little pieces. So we've got these two pieces right here. Actually, I'm gonna bring my template back in. And we are gonna create the slits that are going to hold our little bridge piece right here. And so for the slit, I'm just gonna fold it this way. We are going to measure a half of an inch up. So these are gonna be the two sides. And so it's going to get ad adhered to the card this way on this side and then this way on this side. So let's start with this side first, okay? So we're going to measure half of an inch up. So I got my little ruler here. So I'm just gonna take it to half an inch and just kind of put a dot right there. And then we're going to measure one and, I'm just gonna double check this, one and five eighths. So we're gonna write one and five eighths. One and five eighths right here. And it's gonna be seven eighths long. So I'm go seven eighths slit long. That looks really long for some reason. I'm gonna measure that. Yep, it's seven eighths. Okay, so seven eighths, we're gonna do that slit. Okay, so that's one. So now I'm gonna flip this over to the other side. I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna do the same thing. So I'm gonna measure one half inch up. So I'm gonna mark that one half inch up. And then I'm going to measure over one and five eighths right here. And then let's do seven eighths inch long. Seven eighths inch long. Okay, so those are my two slits that I'm gonna make. So I'm gonna bring back the Stampin' Trimmer and I'm gonna insert this. Uh, I'm gonna do it this way. So I'm gonna do it along the one and five eighths inch line right here. And I'm gonna bring this up to half inch. I can see here on the side, half inch. Yep. Whoops. Half inch. Okay, and then I'm just gonna follow my line that I drew. I drew it a little bit long, but it should be okay. And then I'm gonna do the same thing here, one and five eighths. And then I'm going to put this down where I drew the line. Sorry if my head's getting in the way. Okay, that one's better. All right, so now I have my slits and um, let's see if I can remember which sides they go on. I think this is this side and this is this side. So now I need my back piece. So let's grab the back piece here and I am going to adhere these to my back piece and I'm going to center them in the back piece. Make sure they're centered. So I'm gonna use the Stampin' Seal Plus. This is a stronger adhesive, and I recommend um, that one, that you are sure when you are using it, you um, don't need to pull it up again because it, it's just not gonna come up again. <laughs> um, it lays it down in little strips, and it's just gonna be a, a huge pain to try to Pull it up again but it goes down really nicely so you're gonna 
put this in the center. I really hope I trimmed off enough of this. Put this in the center. Okay, and line it up right here. All right, and do the same thing on the other side. So I'm put some adhesive back here. So now these should pretty closely, there's a little bit of a gap, but it, it'll be fine. They should pretty closely match, okay? So now we're gonna do a little bit of decorating. So we're gonna open up the back and I've got some designer series paper here. So I'm going to use my regular stamp and seal to just open this up. It looks like a bird ready to fly. So I'm going to adhere this to the back. Do it this way. Let's try to line this up in the back here. And then I've got uh, some of the branches to decorate kind of gets hidden back here a little bit but it'll be okay so I'm just going to put some adhesive straighten everything out here on here some adhesive on here. I'm just gonna put that down. And then I've already stamped the branches and the birds and the eggs and everything, so I'll pull all those out. Because we've got one bird that goes back here, just sitting on the branch. So I'll put a dimensional on the bird. Put the bird up here. Now I can add the bridge. So the bridge is, let's get the measurements here, one inch by four and a half. And you're going to score half inch on either side. So right there, you're gonna score half inch on either side. And then you're going to trim off a quarter of an inch on either side, except for that half inch, so that you create a little T at each end. And that's gonna be your stop for your slits. So to insert it, you're just going to fold in your little tabs, and you're gonna insert it into your slit. And then on the other side, you can open up your tabs, and that's what's going to stop your piece from sliding out. So you're just going to fold these little tabs, and then insert into the slit. And then the slit is big, so let's see. Hopefully, this is big enough to stop it. Yeah. I think it should be okay. And so there's our bridge. And so let me show you on our finished card over here that on our bridge we have a bird. So we're gonna put a bird on our bridge. So that bird faces the other way. So it goes the other way. And that one's also on a little dimensional. So let's put one on the bottom here. Okay, so now I'm going to fold this back up. It's a little bit stiff the first time. It's 
it's a lot a bit stiff the first time. <laughs> it's very stiff the first time. And then now we can continue decorating it with the designer series paper. So we'll put some more adhesive on. Got to wind this forward a little bit, a lot of it. My winding skills are not working. So this side I'll do this way and then we'll decorate the other side. And then we can decorate the front. Okay, so we've got this part done. So now we can work on the front. So I'm gonna set this aside and I'm gonna pull the front here. So I am going to attach this to the front. Sorry, my kids are at home. And uh, let's see here, line this up. So now I'm going to punch whole, uh, circles on either side for my um, pulls so that I can pull either side. And you can use whatever size uh, circle you want but I recommend um, using a smaller size. So what size do we have that's small that we can use? So I think the smallest size we have now is one and a half, which is kind of large. Um, let's see how it works. Yeah, that should work. So I'm just gonna do just a tiny bit. So that should work. And, um, just need um, a little spot so that um, you can put your thumb so you can pull. Now on the back side, I have these um, two little pieces and these are um, a quarter inch um, by five and a half and they're scored at um, five eighths of an inch and um, or you could do three quarters by five and a half but I did a quarter um, or are these half an inch? Sorry, these are half an inch. Um, so I'm going to hide them. It doesn't matter if they show on the circle here, but I don't want them to go past where my opening is over here because they will show. So I'm going to use the Stampin' Seal Plus. Um, because I really want them to adhere very well and not go anywhere because they're going to get pulled on a lot. So I'm going to place this down. And I don't want it to be flush with the, the right side either. So I want it to be hidden from this side and not flush with this side, if that's possible. This side's gonna be trickier because um, it's this side is too close, so it's gonna have to be pretty much flush with this side. So it is what it is on this side. So put a little bit of adhesive here and a little bit here. We're just gonna Line this up down here and up here. So these are gonna be the um, holders or the slides or guides that our two wings are gonna go through. So let's bring this back over here 
and we can insert this side. Hopefully it will fit because I trimmed them down. Please fit. There's one side. It's at an angle. Let me do this upside down so I can see what I'm doing better. Yay! It fits! It fits! Okay, so that's one side. So now let's do the other side. It fits! So definitely trim down those two pieces. Yay, so we have our stage part. So we can pull and we have our piece. So now all we have to do is decorate it. So we've got our nest. Um, and I think I did that with dimensionals and our bird. Let me see, yep, dimensionals. So we'll put um, two dimensionals down towards the bottom of the nest and we've got one bird this way and one bird the other way and then we have some eggs we'll deal with the eggs later so we've got this lovely nest that we stamped put that in the bottom corner really pretty and we can put the bird on it and there's so many possibilities with this kind of card. Is your imagination just going, 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 going? Now let's see, what is the best way to do these eggs? I think the best way is glue dots. Those are gonna hold the best and the eggs aren't gonna go flying off. So I'm just gonna do a glue dot and then adhere it to the back. So do three eggs, the dies cut out three eggs and the stamp is three eggs together. So that's kind of handy, kind of nice. So there's our three eggs. And then I've got some more branches that we can use to decorate. So I'm just gonna lay out this branch right here so I can kind of see what leaves I need to put adhesive on so it will be right here and right here so right here and here so we'll put some right here and right here and I guess I could put some right there but I think this should be sufficient. Hopefully that'll hold in place. And then we can put our bird down. Put the bird over here. And then I put some more branches over here. So here and here and here again. So here and here. And I think I said here. So we'll do that there. We'll just kind of let that rest a little bit so all the glue can dry. But there you go, there is a stage card. And super fun to make and super fun to receive and open. You could do all kinds of cards. You could do birthday cards and have balloons inside there. Uh, you could do anything. You could have flowers inside there. Just all kinds of possibilities with a stage card. Let me fold this back up and then it folds flat so you can mail it. So it's a super, super fun card to make. I hope that you've enjoyed watching this card, make me make this card and that the instructions were clear for you. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks, bye.